Right guys, I'm going to be playing I'm going to be playing uh this game. I'm going to be playing this game um called um trying to remember the name, uh body cam. Right, so this laptop is a MSI Raider. It's the GE67HX gaming laptop. It's got um it's got the Intel i7 12800 uh, GX um, GE67HX gaming laptop. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate on this thing. You know, I'm doing this. That's MSI Center, so I'm using uh, uh, some stuff in there. Let me just check for drivers. I did update the drivers recently. I don't think there are any drivers that... I hope there's nothing there because every time a new game seems to come out on NVIDIA now, there's uh, new drivers, right? So it says you have the latest game ready drivers. Okay, cool. Right, so let me just do this refresh thingy because obviously I did get new games. I got Dead by Daylight. I did purchase that game. Uh, Dead by Daylight. I do have... Uh, other games that I got, I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it will refresh them. It says 18 games found. But I, I don't know if it's if it's done anything with them. Anyway, the games aren't going to show in here. So the games are opt optimizing. So I think it's done. Right. So the next place I like to go is in here. If I remember correctly, I've overclocked it again. Right, so that's on 20, 2500, uh, 2,500 megahertz. Uh, wait, what's the third one? Because I know I changed the, all of these. That's on 2167. Wow, that's really high. And the fourth one's on 1800, right. So number one and five for the underclocks. I'm going to use 2167 or 2167 megahertz on the gpu memory is 8000 megahertz voltage is 1100 here it does say 1081 temperature is 36 degrees celsius i'm not going to touch voltage or the core uh, voltage i used to do that in the past i don't do that now i did explain why uh because i did discover that as long as your laptop can use more um more uh, power whatever you want to call it like as long as your laptop is able to use um more um what you call it uh more energy more power you know then you can you don't need to you don't have i, I don't know what the word is that i'm looking for but it basically look go into your settings i told you guys before enable experimental features a geforce experience update may be required blah 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 so mine is already enabled. I don't know, it says restart now. What's this thing? I, I don't know why it's doing that. I think every time this thing updates, it always does that. Anyway, um, you come into this thing here. You go to settings. And then you, like I told you. Um, why is it doing this? Oh, okay. Th it thought I wanted to log into social media. No. Press done. Press performance. You need to do your auto tuning in here. I told you. This thing here, this way it's green, will be, it will be off, like it will be on the side. You need to tap on this, and then a little green line will start coming from this section, where it says performance tuning. And I told you it takes about 45 minutes. I told you do not move from it, because you need to know what your voltage on your laptop is. The voltage is more important than the, the GPU, you know, like the overclock. Why I'm able to use this 2167? My laptop can actually go up to 2300. But because I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna mess up my laptop. I don't want it to overheat just because I wanna make, um, I wanna play games or whatever. I don't need to push my laptop that high, you know. I don't think so. Right. Um, it says 54 downloads because a lot of these other ones are actually demos that I was just downloading. I was downloading a lot of demos. I'm probably going to erase these demos at some point. I have to erase them. I mean, remove them. The only game I want to test today. 
Sorry, I'm just a bit tight. Uh, the only game I want to test today, like I said already, is uh, the one I'm, I keep talking about, which is body cam. Ah, yeah, you know what? I actually have another game that I, I want to test. This um, this Diabolical Rogue and body cam. Right, so I need to actually add this to my NVIDIA. Uh, I'm going to go to Control Panel. I've got this game is all stasis. I'm sorry if it's bright. Uh, this is the control panel. So what do you do in here? You go to program settings, and this is where you add games to the um, to the program. I should have done this before, but the thing is, like I said, I've got a lot of um, demos, so I didn't want to go through every demo to add it because obviously at some point when these games are eventually released you will not be able to um to get them onto the i mean you won't be able to get these um i don't know why it's saying c is any games on c they're all on d right yeah that's what i was wondering why is it going to c for because I, I don't install anything on my on my main drive so i'm going to go steam library steam apps uh common and the game should be in here so most of these are demos the only ones i'm interested in is the um, like this body cam thing. So I think I've gone a bit high. Yeah, there it is, body cam. Uh, you need to select the XE. Once you select it, that's it. And the good thing about this browse thing, it just takes you straight back into where you're coming from. I like to go into bi uh, binaries. There's nothing here. I won't get anything. Go to win 64. Um, that's epic helper. So I like to add that one. Why I'm doing this? Because I bought this game. So. I mean, I, I, I purchased this on Steam, so, you know, obviously, I want the game to run properly. So, it's just a good idea to come into your NVIDIA thing, you know, this uh, where you add programs. So, it recognizes the game that you're trying to load up, obviously. And then, hopefully, it just works out of the box, because I don't think my, my laptop will have an issue with this game. So that's body cam and that one's called diabolical something I, I don't know the name yeah diabolical rogue so i think this this one is actually a game that's uh they said is similar to doom you know that that um what's what's that game thing called again you know the one where you you spawn into battle and you just be jumping around shooting and all that stuff so from the way i i take it it's a fun, it's a very fun game. And the good thing about it as well is the very fact that when I got this, when I got this game in mind, I actually wanted to play this on my Steam Deck, that Di Diabolical Rogue game. The good thing about this is using global settings. My global settings are already set. The way I'm, I, I play all my games is already set. So I do not need to go into there to do anything else. Um, I don't think I need all this uh, because I have this already from the other games. You know, once you've added certain things, you don't need to keep coming back in here. You understand? You don't need any of this because all this is just a uh, what you have from previously, isn't it? So you don't need to keep coming back into this thing. Uh, this is Redis. I think this is the um, uh, DX thingy. But um, I think nowadays all of these do use some sort of uh thing on them right so that game is added dead by daylight is added i purchased uh dead by daylight as well i don't know what other games i bought i think it was okay body cam oh yeah yeah, yeah. you know what there's another game in here but i i don't know the name i need to look here i don't know the name uh stasis bone totem you see some of these games you, you don't know the names and a lot of them on here as well um, they are, um, what you call this, they're, some of these are actually, this is a Stasis too, right? So some, some of these games on here as well are demos. So what I'm saying is when the demo is fully released as a full game and it's been sold, you may not be always able to uh, access the game. So I don't see a point in adding it to my, uh, in here basically for no reason. Right, I'm just going to add those three games because those are the games that I, I remember that I purchased. So once you've done that, you just have to click apply 
and now those those games those exe files are added to your global so my global here if i take you to the top it says performance and uh this one here it's using the nvidia uh geforce rtx 3080 ti laptop gpu so that's how mine is set so once that is done that's it uh i've got my i've got my controller but you see it's, it's at the moment it's not really showing the lights so i'm going to show you what i do in here i need to go into this this is the program that i use I need to open this program up i think it's in the background i need to click start and you'll see the lights will change and you see the change to whites uh it's saying 75 percent dual sense connected via usb and all that stuff so that is working in the background what you're looking at this is uh, game fast if you don't know what game fast is it's just a program that um you see mine uses extreme game mode it's just basically something that works with your wi-fi enables you to uh play games and all that stuff all the good stuff you know um it's it's just something that kind of it'll prioritize uh gaming over everything else that you're trying to have running uh in the background i don't know why this is okay it wasn't showing up the way it should be showing up right so i am not using the 2560 by 1440p like i told you guys that's 2k or 4k i do not know the actual number but someone did say it was 2k uh, then when i looked when i was looking around on the internet there was someone uh, i mean some other times they would say it's actually 4k resolution so whatever the case it may be i'm not here to i'm not one to judge but i'm just going to say whatever resolution this is uh that's mine is 25 uh 25 by 25 25 60 by uh what you call this no this will be too high because that that game's got a lot of shooting in it isn't it so i'm gonna put this at 60. so basically the game itself has right i want to set everything at the same level right so the game itself is very realistic even the guns are very realistic so it's gonna be loud anyway so i don't need it to be too loud i could test diabolical rogue it's a very good game it's a doom type game it's very good fun cartoony type i bought that game in mind for my steam deck basically and then this uh bone status um thingy that game is good it's like a um, platform type game but it looks really good it's like a horror you're in the water type type game it's it's, it's i think it's good the one i want to test oh yeah yeah yeah. you know what i i forgot something i i purchased vigor i've got vigor you know vigor is now available on steam so i now have this game installed on my steam deck oh wow i actually forgot to add this one right so let me just quickly go to nvidia panel these are the games i purchased everything else that i do have everything else that i do have uh run on my laptop if it does say 50 downloads all of those are demos so there is nothing on my system right now that is um how can i put it there's nothing on my system right now that is um the ones that i paid for basically it's only four games yes vigor uh diabolical rogue what's this thing saying diabolical rogue uh, i'm trying to think of the other ones that i i actually got diabolical rogue uh dead by daylight and yeah yeah body cam so i only purchased four games um why i purchased them well to me a lot of people are testing it on steam deck and I know those people are not going to go backwards in testing it. But I'm just curious in the game itself because I, I'm, I'm not getting a lot of um, people talking much about the game. Like, not a lot of people are talking about it. So, I was just wondering to myself, is it a good game or not? I mean, no one's talking about that side, you know. Because, you know, with games, no one's really asking if the game is fantastic but we we all want to know if it's if it's a good game to 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 buy you know to purchase and no one's talking about it so i just thought 
let me buy the game see what body cam is like right so what i like to do in here i'm gonna start this so it can be in my favorites i'm going to settings going to properties and the first thing i'm going to look at is the, um, this controller then i'm going to select enable steam input i'm going to look at the beta stuff i'm going to look at install files i'm going to look at updates because sometimes in here there may be some stuff in here that is uh, required I'm going to go to this it's actually showing a playstation gamepad it says uh keyboard w a s d and mouse right but what i like to do is i like to click on this one when you come in here go to community layout and you see there's a lot of people here that have been playing this game already and this says ps5 controller support your modified layout for this game so i'm using dual sense so these are for dual sense these are the dual sense ones and it says controller support so there's someone else here uh, ps5 shooter like card more accurate so so this one here and that one so i don't know which one to select but this dude here is he's played 367 hours the other one's played 450 hours but i'm going to go with the card one solely because i i don't know if this is gonna be good or not see it is for the dual sense controller and what you need to do is click on apply and once it's applied you can just view layout that's the layout Normally, it'd be a good idea to kind of, um, I don't know, to kind of, uh, what you call this thing? It would be a good idea to kind of, um, I'm trying to think, to take a picture of the, the layout. But I'll do that later. Like I said, I just, to, right now, I just want to see what the game's like. Because people say it's lifelike, all that stuff. And I want to see if this game is good. So I'm using a JuiceLens controller. Uh, my laptop MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. It's got an Intel i7 12800HX, 16 cores, 24 threads, got 8 efficiency cores, 8 performance cores. It's got NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU with 16 gigs of VRAM. It's got 3 terabytes SSD. It's got two M.2 slots. In one slot, it's got the uh, 2280 which is the one terabytes. Oh, you know what? The game's playing in the background. <laughs> I just noticed. Oh, what the hell? What's this thing? Oh, come on, man. Not right now. Lucas and Lou, next. Okay, let's go to settings. And... That's the sound effect. So I'm not going to be talking a lot, guys. Oh, my God. 